I think writing, you know, but you need to be very disciplined. I've started a, a novel. You, you can hear chapter one, Deliver Us From Evil. Put it into YouTube, Scotty McClue, Deliver Us From Evil. You'll hear chapter one. But um, no, I think, uh, what about politics? Do you think politics would be my bag? Not terribly good at misconstruing the truth. That's the problem. You see? People say, oh, don't tell them that, for goodness sake. I say, we have to tell them. They are the people. They are the people who put us here. Of course they should be told. You might be at loggerheads. You might be at loggerheads. I'm sure my first morning in politics, one of the big bosses, one of the whips would come up and say, now, you shut up. You speak when you're spoken to. Very good, Chief Whip. <laughs> All that. Uh, I got in trouble for saying bless you to someone. I was accused of discriminating against other religions. I am Christian. I am respectful of other beliefs. What do you think? No, bless you is absolutely fine because someone's God will be blessing them. Some people are blessed by God. There is only one true living God. But no particular religion has got the uh, monopoly on God. You know, the 1714 alliance was to do with Louis the Fourteenth trying to get the old pretender back on the throne. He sent him across in 1708, but he was stopped at Creel in Fife. <clears throat> Robert, can you just double-check that it was Louis XIV, the Sun King? Just double-check it. You are right. You're right about Creel, and you're right about the French King Louis, and you're right about the 1714 alliance. So that's what I tend to think of as the old alliance. But yes, there was an early alliance in the 1200s. John Balliol, remember Scotland had four universities when England had two. Scotland had Aberdeen, St Andrews, Glasgow and Edinburgh. England had Oxford and Cambridge. But two of the greatest Oxford colleges are Oriel and Balliol. There we are. Scots colleges. Scots origins. John Balliol. Uh, yes, Luke, FM Coos would be great if Scotty was FM. Ah, Gordon Robertson. <laughs> You're just thinking of my quick repast. <laughs> I found God, Scotty. He was hiding under the stairs. You know, Professor Nupti, you're laughing. You're making light of it. But those of us that were brought up being told that God would look after us, I can remember as a wee one, you said your prayers, then you were told God would look after you. And I can remember as a wee one when the room went dark and everybody had gone looking up at the ceiling to see if I could make out God's face watching over me. Otherwise, how could he see me? Do you see? So I thought, and when you were little, did you ever hear something under the bed and look under the bed? There's nothing there. But when you were looking under the bed, did you wonder what was happening on top of the bed? <sighs> Tidies. That's a tiny, I can remember it. Late one tonight, says Tam. Yeah, we were late. Tam, I'm just going now. Uh, politics are fascinating, but I wouldn't like to be a politician. Too much scheming and backstabbing. Plus, as you said, having to support policies which you might with which with which you might not agree. Love your sentence construction there, Gordon. I always do. Hello, Scotty, says Aaron. Aaron, lovely to have you with us, Aaron Shabir. I've been passing my time watching the old videos, Scotty. 
entertaining to say the least. I thank you. Very kind of you.